I have to admit, of all the types of fishing one can do along the coast of South Carolina, fishing for brim in early spring is one of my favorites. Today I'm out here on the Waccamaw River and I'm going to be doing a little test for catching brim. Now I don't know whether you can see this or not, but I'm going to try these very small circle hooks with a very small piece of worm just to see how this works. I've never tried these before. A lot of people say they work better because the fish don't get to swallow the bait. We're going to try it out and we'll see. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of fish that are going to be caught here because as I said before, caterpillars are falling in the water from the trees and the fish are eating them like crazy. Happening very early this year. So what I'm using now is a really simple little slip bobber rig down at the bottom. That small little circle hook of the very small worm. Let's see what happens. Well, that was fast. The very first cast, I got a fish. Now let's see. Look at there. Small little brim hooked it right on the lip. Hardly even got in there. I think these things might work. Small circle hooks. Let's see if we can repeat that. All right, well, the bites are coming pretty fast and furious here with this slip bobber. And I'm just going to say that this circle hook is pretty amazing. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but every one of these fish I've caught, I've just caught it right at the edge of the lip, and the hook just slips right out. No swallowing, no problems whatsoever. I really like these circle hooks. And there's proof that even the smallest of brim can be caught on this relatively large circle hook. Look at the size of that fish and caught him with no problem whatsoever. I was, I was worried these might be too big and they wouldn't work, but it's not the case whatsoever. I think I'm a, I think I'm a convert. One after the next after the next. Once again, perfect hook right in the upper lip and the hook just popped right out. One right after the other. We're just gonna see. I let that one take it for a long time. And you know what? Big fish, same deal. Hooked right in the upper lip, hook comes right out. Incredible, I love it. As soon as we went to these slip bobber worms, the size and the quality of the fish began to improve. I'm going to tell you right now, this bluegill I got here. So every one of these fish, amazingly, caught right in the upper lip and the hook pops right out. This is getting uh, this is getting almost boring because it's so easy. No more messing around with swallow hooks or anything like that. So I'm just going to admit, this is turning out to be one of those really magical fishing days. The weather's perfect, nobody around, fish biting like crazy, and I discovered a new technique that actually improves the fishing experience. I don't know what more one could ask for. And even as I'm sitting here, I see brim hitting the surface all up and down the river here. It really is quite amazing. I really wish I could show you all what's going on out here today. Caterpillars are falling out of the gum trees where they've been eating the leaves. And as soon as they hit the water, brim are hitting them on the surface. It's the kind of thing that only happens early spring. It only happens for a, a few days, and boy, am I lucky to be here when it's happening. What a great day out here on the Waccamaw River. Good weather, caught lots of fish, 
and prove that old adage wrong that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Indeed, I'm the old dog and I learned a new trick today. Small circle hooks for brim. Up until today, I always figured that those long shank gold hooks were perfect for brim. I had that one wrong. I gotta go home right now, get rid of all my old hooks, and buy me a bunch of those circle hooks. Thank you for watching.